Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put a hole in someone's head, so it'll be like this. So basically, and this is a pretty basic thing, basically I'll show you how to track your footage and how to attach things to your footage and, and then we'll get this sort of final result. So what I have is my raw footage. And what I did was, I shot this person with a cross on their head, which is my tracking point. If you didn't notice already, I, I put fake blood around the area, so that when I blend objects with it, it will blend nicely. <clears throat> so I got a blood hole off Google, so what I did was I searched blood. With images, and it should be in here somewhere. Let's click on it and then right click save image as and put it into a folder that you can find it again. So let's start now. Grab my footage, hole in head, and just click and drag that into a new composition, and that'll make it the same resolution as your footage and click and drag your blood image into the comp as well turn that off with this little eye, we don't need that for now um, what we need to do is create a null object so that we can attach our tracking data to to do that right click on this grey area new uh, null object now I'm doing this on Windows so everything will be different if you do it on Mac uh, we can turn that null object off for now, we don't need it. And now what we have to do is track this footage. And make sure when you've imported the footage that your <coughs> resolution is set to full, not quarter. It'll be easier to track that way. Now to track your footage, click on your footage, go to animation, track motion. And your tracker controls will pop up here. Now make sure your track type is set to transform and make sure the position is checked and then we can start. Now just click on your footage, zoom in so you can see your tracking point easier. Now click on your tracking point and drag it to where your drawn tracking point is. Now if you have this issue where this little cross on the tracking point isn't there, just undo Control Z and find it again. Click and drag that to the cross, make sure that works. Now we need to scale this up so we can see this cross tracking point inside this area. So to do that, just click and, tr click and drag on this little area here. And have a stretch out and bring that in it looks like so. And you can zoom out. Oh, and by the way, the way I've been moving this composition around is holding down spacebar and clicking and dragging this composition window here. And zooming in, <clears throat> you can just use the scroller on your mouse or Hit the greater than or less than keys, the dot and the comma. <clears throat> now to track this, we need to hit the analyze forward button, so make sure you've got your footage selected, and hit this button here. Once that's done, make sure you look over your footage and make sure that your tracking point is completely attached to the position that you want it to be. If not, and it does something like that, where it goes off the tracking point, simply just click and drag it back to the point you want it, and then just click the Analyze Forward button again. But for now, we only need to go so far. So, about there or so and this is just for the tutorial so your footage might be like 10 seconds 20 seconds a minute whatever and this is just for the tutorial now to attach it to the null object 
we need to go into our tracking controls here, go edit target, and choose null 3 or whatever your null object is, and click OK. And make sure you can see the apply button and hit that. Make sure you've got X and Y selected, click OK. And that will attach all the tracking data to the null object. You turn the null on for a second just to show you that tracking data is attached to the footage, like so. You just turn it off because we don't need it. Now, what I want to do is close this composition to about here. So, to do that, just go to the end on your timeline or near where you want to close it off. Hit N on your keyboard and that will just sort of create a point for you to close and right click on this bar, trim to work comp. So that just closed the area off for me. Okay now we're going to attach everything to this tracking point here. So to do that, turn on our blood layer for now and we'll, we'll scale that down. To do that, click on one of the corners, hold down shift and drag inwards just to scale that down. Just drag that over your area where you want to attach it to. Now we're going to create a blending mode here to blend it in. Now if you don't see this area, just toggle the switches to come back to it. And then we're going to change blending mode from normal to darken. But this is your choice, so do whatever you feel is right. So just play around with whatever you want. Now, to attach it to our tracking data, we need to parent it. So there's this little parenting whip here. Click and drag that to our null object. And that should have attached it to our footage. Should close it off more. Like so. Now I want to create a mask <coughs> around this area just to blend it in more and get rid of some of this here. And to do that we want to click on our pen tool. Make sure you have your bit of footage or image selected and click and drag. It's all about creating points so click and drag around your area. I'm going to close this off. Just click back to the start here and that would have closed it off. And I want to feather it, so click on your JPEG, the one that has the mask on it. Click F on your keyboard, and that'll bring up the mask feathering. Now we want to drag these, drag this across, so click and drag, and that will feather it so it'll blend it in more. And we could just close that off, zoom out, let's move that around. And now I want to create a bigger hole. So to do this, we'll create a new solid. So we'll right click on this area here, new solid. And just turn this off for a second. Now zoom in. And again, we're going to create a mask. So make sure you have your black solid selected. Now the reason why we turn this layer off is so that we can see the area that we want to mask for the solid and it won't affect anything if the layer is off you just have to turn it on again to reveal the mask so let's begin now make sure you got your black solid selected click on your pen tool and you create some sort of a grungy hole so just click and drag click 
just to make some sort of crazy hole here and to turn your mask off just toggle the switch and turn your black solid on and that's your mask so just click the selection tool so now I want to feather this so I click on your black solid again hit F on your keyboard that'll bring up the mask feathering and you want to click and drag this across just a little bit to create sort of a grungy hole blend that in a little bit like that and just close this off and I want to name this just so I can not get confused with other solids so now to do this click on your layer hit enter on your keyboard and just, just create a name for it hit enter again and we can just bring that below the null object now we want to attach this one as well to our tracking data to our null object so click on the hole and grab the parent tool click and drag it onto that and that will have attached that as well so that's good so far now I want to create some more blood in here just around the inside of the hole so to do this we need to create another black solid so right click on this area new solid click OK and <clears throat> we want to go into our effects and presets over here make sure it's in there so if it's not in there go to windows effects and presets and that will appear on the side here and we want to search for vector height so you can just write vector uh, we want to click and drag that onto our black solid and for now we want to choose a blending mode so we will go screen that will allow us to see our footage and draw over the top of it so we just bring this solid just above the hole there I'll just zoom in on our footage as far as we can and we'll just change our settings on the brush so go make sure you got your solid selected go into the effects controls click on vector paint we'll change to this and change our color to a really dark red and you can draw over your layer here so just creating some blood on the inside of our hole over here like so so what we need to do is blend this into our layers so what we can do is click on our solid I'll name it again so blood hole we on screen so we can change it to darken or whatever we want um, we need to create a mask so click on your solid click on the pen tool click and drag around the area so we only want to select this little blood hole and we need to feather that so click our solid hit F on our keyboard and mask feathering will come up click and drag this across again and to reveal your mask just to toggle the switch um, and we can change our blending modes again so to whatever works best for you soft light looks pretty good you just choose whatever you want it's all about um, 